Welcome back to Python scripting for GIS applications. This is a class at the University of Alaska Fairbanks and it's spring semester 2013. From last time your assignment was to come up with a Python script that will buffer some polygons and then also write to a log file the messages from the geoprocessing tool after it buffers. So we've already established our workspace, which is this personal geo database. So what we'll do is we'll make a feature layer like we did in the last video session. So we'll specify what our input is. So in this case, our input is all the fires in Alaska from 1940 to 2012. And we'll have an output layer. So that will be an ArcMap layer. And then we'll have a query. And since we're using a personal geo database, the fields in queries are enclosed in square brackets. And then we'll simply do the make feature layer geoprocessing tool, execute that tool. So I press the up arrow key to recall the command and I need to make this space disappear. Okay. So now we've got a layer representing the fires from 2012, so next we'll buffer those. So we'll create a string variable for our buffer distance, and then a string variable for our output, and then we'll buffer our 2012 polygons. So in this case, out layer is the input, and that's from when we made our feature layer up here. We created this out layer. And then our output feature class will be out buffer, so it'll be this feature class, and the buffer distance will be 10 kilometers. Okay, so now we want to record the information that was the messages from the geoprocessing tool to our text file. So the first thing we need to do is import the OS module and then specify the path where we're gonna create our text file. So that would be os.change directory. And then we'll open our log file and we'll open it with write access. So now we've got our log file open, so now we could just loop through and record our messages to that log file. So we could say for i in the range going from message 0 to arcpy.get message count. So in that loop, log file dot write arcpy dot get message and get the ith message and then we'll add some new line characters so that's backslash n for one new line character backslash n for a second new line character so that executed that loop and it got all the messages um, ranging from message zero all the way up to the last message and then we'll close our log file Okay, so then we could look at our log. So message zero was basically executing the geoprocessing tool and then all the parameters that were used in executing that geoprocessing tool. And then the next message was the start time and then the last message was the time that stopped and then how many seconds took place between the start time and the stop time. Okay, in this video session, I want to teach you how to list various things in ArcPy. And sometimes you need to list, is there extensions available or what type of ArcGIS product you have. So for example, ArcGIS is licensed as an ArcInfo license, an Arc Editor license, or an ArcView license. And some geoprocessing tools require a 
ARC Info license, and you may only have an ARC View license, for example. So to see what type of license you have, if you type in ArcPy product information, so product info. So in this case, it returned string ARC Info. So right now we've got an ARC Info license. So the other two things it might return is a string saying ARC View, which would mean you have an ARC View license, or ARC Editor, which mean you have an ARC Editor license. And then we also have extensions. So we could go, for example, customize, and then extensions. And then either check on or check off the extensions that we need for whatever geoprocessing tool we're working with. So in a similar manner in ArcPy, what you would do is type in ArcPy dot check extension. So do I have existing the extension for spatial analysts, for example? And it is available, I could check it on. So to check it on, what you would do is type in arcpy.checkout extension, and then the extension that you want to check out, or basically um, check out from the pool of extensions. So here we'll check out spatial, and that may be a floating license, so once I check it out, other users wouldn't be able to use that extension. So then once I'm done with the tools that require the spatial analyst extension, I could check it back in by typing in arcpy.check in extension. So return that license for the spatial analyst extension so other users have access to it. Okay, ArcPy has a suite of functions that allow you to create lists. So if you type in arcpy.list, here are these various functions to make a list. And one of the most common functions we'll use is list feature classes. So basically it's list feature classes, and then you could have a wildcard. Okay, so list feature classes, and then we'll have a wildcard. So all the feature classes that start with uppercase A, and then an asterisk. And then the second thing we could do is feature type. And the feature type would be keywords, say use the keyword polygon. So we're only interested in polygon feature classes in this example. So that will return a list. And I'll just name this variable list FC. And that should be all the feature classes in my current workspace that I'm pointing to that start with an uppercase A and their polygon feature types. So then if we look at that list, it returned these two feature classes. So I had one named Alaska Fires 1940 to 2012 and another which was the output from the buffer tool. Okay, the other common tool we're going to use is list fields. So let's make a test feature class. And that will be equal to the first element in our feature class list. So element zero. So test feature class is this one feature class. So we want to know all about the fields that are in that one feature class. So what we could do is make a list of fields, and that's going to be equal to arcpy.list. And once again, we have all the list functions. So here's list fields. And then it requires a data set. And it's smart enough to list all the layers that are in ArcMap. So the data set we're interested in is AK Fires 1940. So I don't see it, so we'll just type in test FC. So now if you type in type LST fields, what is the type? It is a list, 
but it will contain a list of field objects. So field objects contain different properties such as the field name, the field type, is the field editable, etc. So typically once you have your list of field objects, you would loop through each field object and then you could print out the field name, the field type, and is the field editable. So that's what we're going to do next. So for field in my list of field objects, print the field name, the field type, and is the field editable. So certain fields are, are um, in geodatabases not editable. So for example, shape length or shape area, those would not be editable because they're part of the geodatabase structure. So basically in this feature class, we had these fields. We had object ID, shape, shape length, shape area, burn year, and string. And then the feature type is object ID. You can't edit it. Um, geometry, you can edit geometry. Shape length and shape area, they're double precision type and they're part of the geodatabase, so you cannot edit those. But the burn year is a small integer, and you can edit that. Okay, the other thing you'll often want to list is a spatial reference. And to get the spatial reference, you need to use the describe function. So that will return a describe object, so I'll just call it dx. D E S C F C for feature class. And that's going to be equal to arcpy dot describe. And then whatever feature class we want to describe. So I'll call it test feature class before. So what's the spatial reference of that feature class? Okay, so if we say what's the type of this object, it's an arc. GIS geoprocessing data object. So basically it's got, it's an object and it has many, many properties. And what we want to do is just get the spatial reference property. So we'll make a variable, you could call it whatever you want, I'll call it chord sys. So that's going to be equal to this object, which we created using this describe function, and then dot and then spatial reference. So get the spatial reference property. The dot spatial reference from our describe object to create this object. So this object will have many properties and we can extract some of those properties. So for example, print this object dot type. So down here in the help window, it says it's projected. And if we hit return, it is a projected coordinate system. So if I hit the up arrow key, let's print another property for a spatial reference object. So print linear unit name. So the linear units of this projected coordinate system are in meters. Okay, so we can't print the coordinate system because it's an object and it has many properties. So if you just said print coordinate system, it would just come back and tell you that that's an object and it has many properties. Okay, but one of the properties is if we hit dot is we could use the function export that to a string and that will tell us everything about that spatial reference object in a string. So then basically this spatial reference object was a projected coordinate system and it was in the Alaska Albers coordinate system NAD 83. So usually when we're dealing with spatial references we just want to typically know is it projected and if it is projected what is the linear unit of that coordinate system. Okay so we initially executed this line to create a describe object. The other things we can do typically is what is the type of feature class? So print describe 
feature class dot and we want to know what is the shape type so it is a polygon shape type and then if I hit the up arrow key we might want to know what's the catalog path so the catalog path is to this geo database and then this is the name of the feature class and if I press the up arrow key we might also want to know what's the base name so base name and that's simply the name of the feature class okay so your assignment for our next video session is to write an ArcPy script that will create a list of all the polygon feature classes in an ArcPy environment workspace and then once you have the list of all the polygon feature classes loop through each feature class and then use the add field geoprocessing tool to add a double precision field named hectares to each polygon feature class and then use the calculate field tool to in your ArcPy window calculate the area in hectares of every polygon in each polygon feature class and I'll go over the solution to that in our next video session